that's much better. I'm not. I'm using my head to cover the sun. The sun has been just doing any idea. Yeah. Anyway, I have really missed decorating my living room. As you guys know, everything going on has made made all. <laughs> everything that is going on has made all the old stuff closed, and I really wanted to decorate down my console table over there. So I had to shop around in my house to find out to find things that i can use to decorate the place for now so the first thing i did that i will be doing is to clean it let me tell you guys one thing all this glass mirror table lit all they collect dirt like literally sometimes i wish they were wood like this wood there's a lot of fingerprint in it but you can never see it but with all this mirrored one oh my gosh you would tell whose hand and fingerprint is it and guess who is jaded it's always jaded's fingerprint so i have this magic eraser that i got from pound shop that is what i'll be using to clean it also the walls i can see some mark there all you do is just add a little bit of water to the magic eraser and you can get it literally just soaks all the dirt away which i like so after it's all clean for my mirrored tables and all that i do have a wipes that i also got from pound shop it's really nice it says it's got vinegar in it but i usually don't smell the vinegar so i just use that um, white glass wipes to just pick up all the dirt and it does actually pick everything up and it gives it a very nice shine after it's all cleaned up so when it's clean you know you can literally see your reflection in it the thing's gonna be shiny 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 <laughs> so right now i've got all the things that i mean i just got most of these things from tk max some are from T well all of them are from tk max so the first thing is to clean Jaden always throws some stuff inside that vase or vase so <laughs> i saw that he put some crayon in it so i had to get the magic eraser to clean off the crayon and just make sure the thing looked neat i love this vase this vase or vase was 3.99 and i love the fact that this and the white color just sort of like this is the color pattern i want to go for like very neutral colors but can you see the blue just very neutral blue it's not really like in your face kind of blue so i'm gonna arrange you with this fake flower yes the flower in my house or the plants in my house are actually real this is the only fake one i have but it looks so real i'm gonna arrange you with this you know i'm gonna think about it not sure if it's gonna be there but after a while when i look at it it looks pretty much nice i like the contrast when you can it's just like a pickable the purple or the pink I don't know what color you want to call it but it's purple the flower thingy is purple so i'm going to um take my tray this tray was one of the most expensive thing i bought but it actually worth it the thing i'm learning is that it's not about it's about the quality right now like if you want something with good quality this tray that i'm holding right here i have put it on the center table i've put it next to the coffee table now i'm putting it on my console table it just literally matches everywhere and it's very easy to clean i love the gold trim at the side it's just a very it's not a lot it's a gold there that's good like matte glow the tree itself is marble but the trim around it just makes the whole thing look so gorgeous the way it looks decent what else am i gonna do now oh i need to sneeze oh jeez <laughs> I've been burning this candle now for like a day. This is a candle I got for Christmas gift from my kids. It's the Yankee candle. It smells amazing. It's still burning right now. It smells amazing. Just because there's a pop of green on the table, which is from the, the steam of the vase, or of the flower. So I thought, oh, that would be really nice because it was actually in the middle of this table before. It was just on top of this table before and it really looks really nice just staying there on its own when it's burned so i decided to move it on top of there you know something i've learned about decorating is you need to find your style and you need to work around with it i mean play around with different different things until until you like what you like because the thing about designing is it's your design it's what you like it's how you want it so if it doesn't feel right to you to put a candle up there you can take it out there's no rules in design it's just about mixing colors together making sure the textures are really nice they all balance every there's it's not i don't know how to explain just find out your own style and you can work around it so i got that 
and i also wanted to put this like room diffuser also as i said most of these things have been going everywhere this room diffuser was on my table on this con on this table before it was just over there so i thought oh it would be nice to put the um diffuser next to the you know candle and it actually works out really nice because the Igi that's there, all those long long thing. The black thing really complements all the colors on top of the table. You guys can see the colors I'm talking about. See, there's green. Like there's a lot for you to look at on the table, but they are not clashing. I don't know if you guys get it. Like I get what I'm saying. Like there's a lot. Like your eyes can go to different places on that table, and they are not clashing, which I really really like. I also wanted to include the matches there. That matches. Oh my god, that is like the nicest thing I've ever bought. It actually it's just very easy <laughs> because i'm always lo losing matches to be honest like i'm always looking for it so for the fact that it's in a glass table and you can sit anywhere it just it's just nice whoever invented that idea of having the matches in a jar as a deck even to use as a decorative piece the person is a genius so i thought let me just light the candle you know might as well light it and you know everywhere smell nice it's actually smelling pretty really nice here is it just me or when you first light candle the tea will just be burning as if you are cooking a goosey soup oh, talking about a goosey soup i'm actually cooking hey yeah, yeah that one is done sorry you multi-tax um what else has happened now so i don't even know where oh this bring me back to this my this thing is just one pound this thing that i'm showing you guys is actually just one pound and it's been a lot oh my god everything in my house i love it and the thing i've been saying i have said to myself is i'm not just going to put things in my house that i is not going to be functional right that that's an example of something that is not functional but the fact that i like it and it's one pound and it can be for anything if i don't want to use it again in the living room i can take it to my room and i can put my like my stored hearing but right in the living room i feel like it will sit really nice on that table which i think it, it looks pretty cool it just had a little bit of something on top of that table which i really like and did i say sorry i'm burping did i say it's one pound it was from the pound shop so sometimes you can find something of good quality in one pound shop console table is and that's my um thingy so uh, uh, this is the only thing i didn't use so i'm just gonna put it back on the table and i've been enjoying it on the table to be honest and it's just so gorgeous so right now this is the view of my um living room that is the front um can't just wait this um covid to covid something something to finish so i can get um working again i really need to finish up um this area that i have my um my chair I, I already know exactly what i want for it and also i need to get the curtain but right now this is what the view looks like uh it's just that side i really need doing and also i don't know if you guys remember this pillow that i got from primark so i've put them on the table now I mean on the chair and I said table they really look gorgeous like I just love it everything looks pretty in my opinion and you right most these two pillars are from Primark if anybody is asking uh, I don't think they have it again I got them when they were on sales well this one in front the one at the back I think they were like seven pounds and there's a color of like pink and they're very subtle pink not too in your face pink so i was telling people i will add colors to my house so that is all of that get this girl when i throw my mind she didn't make, make, make me feel alive you got me got me thinking right you got me got me no Special place, I'm feeling close and I cannot wait. Can't wait.
Like I really want to be doing more of my decorate with me. I have an idea of what I want to do for another place in the house. But I just want everything to be, everything that is going on in the old world to settle down. Then I can get back into it. And I hope this actually put a smile on you guys face. Oh, a smile on your face? Not really. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. If you have any question, leave me a comment down below. And don't worry. When I finish everything, I will do a detailed house tour where I got everything. You should not ask me where I got the thing from now because I'm going to do a living room tour, like in detail, like everything, the inspiration between inspiration between no inspiration behind so 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 and so 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 why i went for this why i went for that why i like this why i like that details i can't wait anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in the next video bye bye